Today, helping Tennessee families access child care services that are also affordable. That's the goal of legislation on the agenda for lawmakers. Nikhil Smith joins us to explain what's being proposed. Good morning, Neil. A state senator from Nashville, who's also a mother, says it's a personal mission to be a champion for child care, but it's a problem that's also costing the state a lot of money. A report by Tennesseans for Quality early education found that the state lost more than $2 billion in 2022 because of the current child care crisis. That's in terms of lost earnings and revenue, with the impacts being felt by businesses, parents, and taxpayers. SB 1907 looks to incentivize local investments in child care. It's on the agenda today for the Senate Health and Welfare Committee. The sponsor, Senator Charlene Oliver, says it would create the municipality's access to child care fund or match fund, which would match investments that cities, counties and metro governments make in programs for children from birth to age three. A report by the Center for American Progress found 74 percent of mothers of young children in Tennessee participate in the labor force. CAP finds that child care deserts are also connected to fewer moms being in the workforce. Infant care is the most expensive for a family. And it's also the most expensive to have as a child care provider to run a daycare with infant care. Also, families feel the pinch because it makes it difficult to plan a family when we know that waiting lists are, two, are running two years long. How can anyone operate like that? So we have to do something by way of affordability, by way of access and availability, but also address the worker shortage in the child care industry. Senator Oliver says she hopes addressing the child care crisis can support working families and protect Tennessee's long-term economic success.